All right, so a little bit of an introduction to some of the student workstations here. You don't you start out with an Omano 2300 microscope. Not only does this produce excellent image quality, like what you've seen in a lot of my videos, it's actually a lot better than the image quality in a lot of my videos. So I have an Omano 1030. This is the Omano 2300. It features better image quality, but also it has variable zoom. So you can go between 0.7x to 45x. This is what all students are working on. It's very easy to move around. It's very easy to maneuver. And it's, it works very well. You also have the HACO FM202 stations over here. So everybody gets a set of FM2023 hot tweezers. So you're not just working with a $50 soldering setup. You get to work with these hot tweezers that allow you to replace the smallest package on every single iPhone and iPad board very easily, very quickly. You also get a standard iron. You get a choice between the FM2027 iron with a large selection of tips, or you can choose the FM2032 iron, which is a micro pencil. It's pretty cool. So you can choose between the larger tip or this. You get to experience everything. Maybe you prefer working with tweezers. Maybe you prefer working with a standard size iron. Maybe you prefer working with a micro pencil. The whole idea here is you can figure out what you like using for yourself. You can figure out what you work best with. You can figure out what tool works for what job. This is something that you usually have to figure out by spending thousands and thousands of dollars on tools that don't actually work for you. And it's something that you get to sample and experience over the course of the class. And it's just part of what you get here. We have the you know small things like the magnetizer, captain tape. This heat gun is, is not for BGA rework. This heat gun is for removing uh, glass off of iPads. You have your top quality Kester solder here. You have a good quality flux. You get these little omni vices for holding the boards while you're working. You're not like taping it down on the desk. You got, and uh, that's pretty much that. Yeah, so, and if you have any problems at any time, we're going to have set up so that you can actually see at each individual station what it is you're doing, what it is you're working on, so we can watch as you go. For this session, we had a special station, so anytime somebody needed to do a little bit of extra learning or we needed to work with them, we'd be able to see what they were doing on the projector. We'd be able to point it out in real time. We'd also get to point it out on that secondary station on the television that we stole from the other room. I'm here for you. We're here for the students. If we need to steal a television out of a room, if I need to get a thousand dollar deposit added onto my bills so that we could see what you're doing so that we can better help you, I'm all for it. Sonny and I need to break our backs carrying that heavy piece of shit dresser in here. We're more than happy to do it. And that's pretty much that. Again, uh, do you want to do this learning on a magnifying glass using a $100 piece of shit that, that, that literally that, that stays on for about 20 seconds at a time before seeing red lights in the screen that blink? Or do you want to work on top of the line equipment, not only work on top of the line equipment, but actually learn which of these tools is going to work best for you so that you can come up with your own workflow, so that you can come up with your own tool collection that's catered to exactly how it is you like to solder? That, that, that's pretty much what we're going to be offering you here, along with instruction on how to approach these repairs, how to deal with when things come into your shop from a realistic standpoint, from people who are actually doing it, how to troubleshoot a lot of these open-ended problems. A lot of the shortcuts to observe is that you save yourself weeks and hours of time dealing with nightmare rabbit holes to hell on things where I've spent a week or two weeks or six weeks figuring it out. You're going to be learning that. You're going to be able to take notes on that. You're going to be able to troubleshoot it live with us. This is all something that we're offering, and if you're interested... That's my sales pitch. And also, thank you to Sonny for setting up the stations here because this would not look that neat if I did it. So I don't take any credit for that.